netflix avatar will leave you asking yourself was i forced to watch this what was the point of making this in the first place like don't we deserve a good show if you must adapt this because why will a big studio like netflix just decide to give us cheap versions of a masterpiece we grew up with after the last airbender has been a golden series for me it's like one of my usher ends to what a proper animated show is and it still is i won't allow netflix avatars live action to dance that image for me we're in a time where live action remakes are now a thing proper in Hollywood, I'd argue they're even slowly taking over everything at this point, and I wasn't even mad at that. It's like what could go wrong, but now everything is wrong. Avatar is a show I've always wanted to see a proper live action adaptation of, if I'm being honest, because of how good One Piece live action was, or rather, how good I thought it was. One Piece was very okay for me. I had a good time watching and following the story, but I just realized why I enjoyed watching One Piece that much was because I've never seen an episode of the original One Piece anime before the live action. Netflix One Piece live action was my first introduction to the world of One Piece which was why it was okay for me. At the time some fans of One Piece complained about the live action saying it wasn't a perfect adaptation and all that. I remember thinking they were just haters. But guys I'm one of them now and I'm not a hater. It just pains me the more realizing there will be newcomers into Avatar universe like how I was new to the world of One Piece and this will be their introduction into the franchise. Please if you're new to the Avatar universe after watching this live action kindly go and see the animated version to understand everything about Avatar in detail i beg you because this netflix version did not do anything good for this franchise at all in terms of the characters and the overall enjoyability of the show netflix failed this adaptation because they were trying to recreate an already well created story and shortened it to fit into eight episodes but it just can't work that way what they could have simply done was tell a different story or continue the story from where it stopped for real that way we can understand a little bit even if there were flaws right but taking a well created masterpiece and characters we grew up with to both into pieces is not acceptable this avatar live action is just baseless there is no life into it the dialogue between the characters is cheap and laughable the acting is basic because half the actors were all acting as if they were all reciting scripts over and over it's not motivating there was no way i could relate to any of the characters because it's not even their life they couldn't convince me that i could sympathize with what they are going through i can't feel it especially for Eng. i was looking for that Eng that basically doesn't take anything seriously but this version of Eng is kind of like too serious for me and this is no shade to the actors but to the writers they changed a lot of things that made each character unique they took it butchered it and left us with basic cheap characterization there were no proper character developments it's as if the writers were like since you guys must have seen the animated version you guys have gotten the hang of it might as well just move on with the show <laughs> but no that is not right what about newcomers that have not seen the animated version again this is another reason why you have to see the animated version only few characters were able to reflect their character as well and bring them to life like Sokka, the Fire Lord, Iro, and I can add Zuko if we are talking about just the main characters of the show. These are the ones I thought were okay in terms of casting and execution. It's as if some of the other actors were clueless with the characters they were playing or maybe it's just the writing. Katara was off. She just doesn't come off as crisp as she was in the animated version. Animated Katara is fierce when she needs to be. She has this bossy persona while also being compassionate. In this live action, Katara is too humble, too easygoing and too too soft and that is a lie that is not who katara is i don't know if i should use the word beast but an limited version of katara can be a beast if she needs to be a beast the fight with master paku is like the peak of katara's character development because we were all caught by surprise at how she was able to challenge master paku to fight even eng and Sokka were surprised experiencing that side of her for the first time no way am i apologizing to a sour old man like you be outside if you're man enough to fight me. <gasps> You can see the rage she has to stop Master Paku, but this live action Katara was too cool for me. How am I supposed to feel what she's feeling with that facial expression? I'm not seeing that rage and anger as someone that wants to change the stereotype about female waterbenders and northern water pool, and also someone that wants to fight Master Paku, like in the animated version. The worst thing that happened was when Sokka acted as a motivation for Katara to fight Paku. Go kick his ass. So they're trying to say Sokka is who motivated Katara to fight Baku. What I tell you that this show was playing with my mentals, bro. If they continue to write Katara like this, I wonder how she'll be able to handle Toph in the second season. And most especially the episode where they got mad at each other. Or in season 3 when everyone got mad at her for being too bossy. This live action Katara can't even be bossy, bro. Because this face can't even hurt a fly. <laughs> 
and it's funny when you realize they didn't even show one aspect of katara that was super angry or mad throughout the show soccer was okay for me i love the casting and the acting the only bad thing about soccer for me was his chemistry with suki it came off a bit cringy at some point but what he had with yue was more magical and authentic i really enjoyed soccer and yue's chemistry azula was another flop first off it would have been okay if she wasn't in the first season but since she's here let's talk about it why did they write azula to be so insecure azula was never known to be someone that is insecure in any way it was all about her being there and being the dad's favorite because they are kind of like similar but this version of azula is insecure as f all her motivation was on trying to surpass Zuko which even resulted to becoming rude to the Fire Lord. The animated version would never. She was Ozai's favorite because she understands Ozai and respects him so much. But in the live action, she was rude to the Fire Lord and insecure of his love. It was as if Fire Lord was even playing games with the two siblings and that's the big L to Ozai for real because the animated version of Ozai does not even have time to be playing game with his kids. Part of the reason why Zuko and Azula turned out the way they are. My only problem with General Iroh is how tall he is. The animated version of Iroh is obviously short, almost as if Zuko is taller than him. Anytime I see this live action Iroh and Zuko together and Iroh is taller, it just doesn't feel the same. I'm like, this can actually be one of the easiest things to do, getting a shorter actor to play Iroh. Paul did a good job playing Iroh actually, he was able to bring Iroh's vibe to life, but the show generally just messed everything up. And also, this Iroh feels somehow younger compared to the animated version, or is it just me? Another big L for this Netflix avatar is Appa and Momo. With the way they market them in the trailer you think they are in the show bro they are just something that exists in this show more like Appa is just a ride for the team avatar no personal connections with the team whatsoever it didn't even have much screen time i can count how many times Appa was on the screen the worst for me was when the team were leaving kyoshi island they were just showing Appa's tail as it was flying off and people were waving i'm like what are you guys even waving at Appa is one essence in the animated version that kept things refreshing i was always intrigued with the creature and wanting to see more feet often because i've not seen anything like before i believe i'm speaking for everyone when i say we all wanted to ride an appa anytime we see the team flying on it but netflix version didn't even regard appa much for we viewers to even want to ride on it in the case of momo bro i must have forgotten that momo exists and all of a sudden momo will just appear on the screen and it's like oh you're here they don't even give appa and momo any personality they were just something that existed well if a show doesn't treat you as a character how will you even have a personality the show lacks composition they are not consistent with a lot of things for example when eng told Zuko. So all I have was your notebook. I can't tell you how many nights I stayed up reading it. You can tell that this was just a script line because why couldn't they at least show one time Eng was using the notebook in question? Only references. Everything just feels super fast paced and rushed. It's like what's the point of the live action if you won't give it what it needs to be a masterpiece? Some of the fight scenes were bad. It was as if they were a hit me I hit you game. They were slow and low key annoying but all the bending looked great I will give them that. They actually got some things right like the world building. Amashu looked so good. The North Water Pool, the Fire Nation, Zuko ship all looked great with amazing details the costumes were all right and most of the castings were spot on season one was supposed to be a perfect usher in to this live action adaptation but it failed woefully maybe season one can be excused because it's the first installment but these things don't justify any of the atrocities and character butcherings i had to endure guys this live action made me realize that avatar the last airbender can never have a perfect live action because if netflix couldn't do the job i don't know who else can but that can be a stretch if you made it to this level of the video you are the real mvp i really appreciate you watching my videos let me know what you think about netflix avatar adaptation have you seen the show let me know in the comment section don't forget to like the video because it's going to help boost it in the algorithm and also please subscribe to the channel as well click the card on the screen to find out why you should watch pantheon i will see you guys in my next video i'm out of here